Welcome to Arkham 101. These guides will help you become familiar with each feature available on the Arkham platform and show you how to use the platform to its full potential. Please note that Arkham is in beta and as such, we're constantly making changes to the platform. Some elements of your experience may vary from this guide. To stay up to date, make sure to follow us on Twitter, join our Discord, and feel free to reach out to our team on either of these platforms. The visualizer is one of Arkham's most cutting edge features and allows you to view a graphical representation of transactions between multiple addresses or entities. You can see transactions relating to a specific entity, relationships between entities, and then filter by time, sender, recipient, token value, token type, USD amount, as well as the type of entity. This allows you to highlight specific transactions and separate the signal from the noise to see only what you wish to see. To get started using the visualizer, select an address that you would like to see a graphical representation of and paste it into the top left hand box, which says add an entity or address. You can also search for an entity either from Arkham's pre-assigned list or a custom entity of your own creation. For this example, we will be looking at BlockFi's wallets. Let's search for BlockFi and select the entity. You will now be able to see a complex network map of the 1000 most recent transactions for BlockFi. These circles, or nodes, represent accounts or entities. The lines indicate transactions, with green showing an inflow into BlockFi and red showing an outflow from BlockFi. You may also notice that a number of these nodes are circled in yellow. Full details on the type of entity each outline represents can be found by opening the transaction interface on the left hand side. This outline indicates an exchange deposit address, with different coloured outlines for centralised exchanges, deposit addresses, decentralised exchanges, lending, individuals and funds, and uncategorised addresses. Clicking each one will hide, or show, all of the entities in that category on the visualiser. With BlockFi selected in the Entity panel, let's explore specific transactions using Arkham's filter functions and also bring in other entities to show some interesting connections. Let's get started with the basics of filtering. First, click the arrow next to the entity box to open up the transaction interface. This is where you will be able to filter by time, sender, recipient, token value, token type, and USD amount. Let's look for transactions involving the FTT token specifically. To do this, we will click on the filter button next to the column headings and type FTT. We will also filter for transactions worth above $1 million. We can do this by clicking the USD filter button and either using the slider shown here or by typing in the amount. By clicking the arrow next to the time filter, you can change the order of transactions on the list from most recent to oldest, and vice versa. This will update on the visualizer accordingly. You can also adjust the time period you're looking at using the large bar at the bottom. Simply drag to the period you're interested in, and the visualizer will update. When you do this, the metrics on the top right will change as well. In the top right hand corner, the number of transactions visualized is compared to the total number of transactions which Arkham has tracked. Underneath, the volume indicator shows you the total amount of volume which is visualized, as well as the total volume transacted over the selected time frame. Arkham can do far more than simply represent inflows and outflows of individual wallets. When analyzing specific entities, the visualizer can be a powerful tool for researching wallets with associations or suspected associations to an entity that you are already looking at. Let's begin by adding another entity to our visualizer query. Simply paste or search another address or entity in the top left hand box to show a second entity's graph interacting with the current one. For this example, 
we're going to add Alameda research nodes into the visualizer graph alongside BlockFi. Both Alameda and BlockFi's addresses have logged thousands of transactions on Ethereum. So using the visualizer's filter function here can help us see things clearly. Let's see how they're connected. When we add a second entity to the visualizer's input bar, the visualizer will display both graphs simultaneously, along with any connections that these two entities may have, either directly or indirectly. You will see a number of new nodes and transactions appear, including some white lines. These lines indicate internal transactions, or transactions between the entities that we have selected in the upper left-hand box. If there are significantly more than 1,000 transactions between the two entities, feel free to add more filters in order to narrow the displayed results, and the top right-hand corner will adjust to show you the displayed amount accordingly. This can be particularly useful to swiftly identify connections between addresses that you may suspect to be linked, so let's do this now. Existing filters still apply to our query, which means that we are currently looking at only FTT transactions worth above $1 million from these wallets. Let's clean the graph up with a time filter to only display transactions since October 2021. With our selected filters and entities displayed, we can now drag parts of the network graph out for closer examination. There are no direct transfers between Alameda and BlockFi, but the visualizer will display wallets that are one or more transactions removed from the original source. This reveals a few intermediary wallets that have sent or received funds both from Alameda and BlockFi, including a Genesis trading address here and one unmarked wallet here. With Arkham's filter system, we can see clear relationships between these addresses that may not have been evident from raw transaction data alone. The only questions that remain are those about Alameda's intent. Do these transfers represent Alameda's deposits on the platform, or were they something else? Let's take a closer look at some of these transactions, now that we have built out the graph of both labelled and unlabeled addresses. Hovering over a line will display the total value of that transaction. Clicking once will open up the transaction information panel, showing the amount and type of tokens moved, the date and time of the transaction, the USD value equivalent, and the sending and receiving addresses or entities. You can click the entity or address to be taken to another page with details about the wallet or entity's holdings. Alternatively, you can click the date in blue, here, to be taken to a new page with more detailed information on the specific transaction which took place with additional details like gas price and transaction fee paid. Now that we've covered the basics of the visualizer, let's take a look at some helpful tips to get the most out of using this feature. Firstly, nodes can be moved by clicking and dragging them to different positions. This allows you to cluster certain addresses or transactions, or simply to see connections more clearly. Entities that have formed from more than one address can be split up by right-clicking on them. This will separate every address that forms this entity into its own node. From there, transactions that are made from specific wallets can be easily identified. Thanks for watching this guide. For any questions, DM us on Twitter or contact our team through Discord.